Okay, hello. I'm back. Is the game audio working now? Because if it's not, I'll be pissed. Oh my god, it's still not working. I don't know what's wrong. Is it picking up any game audio? Is my is my my shit is just broken? Bro, I don't know what happened, man. It was my music play. Hang on, let's see if my music plays. Bro, all my OBS audio sources aren't working. What the fuck? I'm so tilted, man. Like, all of my audio is working on my computer. I can hear everything. Bro, it just all died suddenly, though. It all died so suddenly. I have no idea what's happening. Like, I didn't change anything. I literally just... Yeah, I've been, I've been resetting the outputs this whole time. Like, what? I have a Go XLR. I wonder if that's part of the issue. Well, that's really annoying. After a reboot, not even fixing it is so scary. Like, what do I do? Oh, there was a Windows update that might have broken everything? Well, that's really cool. PC default audio? Yeah, well, my audio devices are different. They're not like the PC default. Sound alerts shouldn't even be going off, to be honest. I have that muted. Okay, so my iTunes will play music. And Chrome will probably play music. Yeah, okay, so that works. It's just the, the, the system audio where I send all my music or like all my game audio to. What if I do this? Um. Okay, so that works. So it's just this one audio device that's just fucked up. And I don't know how to fix it on the fly. What in the world? Oh, I'm so tilted, man. Is an update on Steam? Okay, but that doesn't fix my audio issue, does it? What in the world happened, man? It's not game related because this this web browser, the audio is also routed to that audio output. 
and it's just not coming out. Oh, dude, like what? I guess I have a temporary fix I can do. There was just a patch, but I don't think that would be the problem with my audio because it's, uh, it's happening on everything. Like on the, everything is not working. So like that works, but I'm annoyed that it broke in the first place. Yeah, okay, so, oh, that's really weird, man. In any case, what were we doing? Bro, like... <laughs> oh my god, I'm so mad. Like, I don't want to have to troubleshoot my stuff now. But I really am concerned that my audio device is like broken. You know? Like, I think the issue is with my whole system. Yeah, I fixed it, like, temporarily. I guess I'll just deal with it for now. Anyways. Is Victor the new Noctis? Let me make a custom. I want to make a custom. Do I, have, I don't have money. I got no bread. How am I going to make customs? Fuck. Okay. I don't have any money, man. I have zero dollars. Oh, it's so fucked. I got no money. <laughs> I have the ultimate edition. I like this stage though. Ready for the next battle. Oh, song's gonna get fast here. Alright, what's up you guys? It's VDX. So we are live in the launch of Tekken 8. And we just went through Victor's entire move list. Uh, I can put that up as a video if you guys like, but I figured you'll get your hands on the game. We'll get to try and plenty of other people doing move list stuff. What I wanted to talk about was, is Victor the next Noctis? And I've just gone through, like I said, went through his whole move list and tried to 
understand how this character is supposed to play. Obviously, I haven't done like in-game, like high level combat or anything like that. So I can't say for certain, but my immediate impressions are he is quite a different character and Tekken 8 is already quite a different game. So it's really, really hard for us to tell. Really, really hard for us to tell. Let's uh, let's take a look at a few ideas that I had of what Noctis is supposed to be and what Victor is. So Noctis was known for insanely good movement and whiff punishment and counter hits. Those were his biggest strengths. People will talk a lot about him having like uh, him having like projectiles and things like that. But to me, that was kind of icing on the cake at a high level. Noctis was not really a projectile character. He had the threat of it. You were more afraid of his like up forward one, and this was the closest Victor move that felt like that. Up forward one or whatever. This is his back one plus two. Okay. Um, so already this move is pretty different. It's 15 frames. Noctis's was 13 frames. And this one is a power crush, which is nice. But even if you have like a heat dash, it doesn't launch. The best you can get is like this guaranteed hit. Uh, I didn't even do it like properly. But if you, if you do it immediately, you get this guaranteed hit. 57 damage is nice. That's a lot of damage. But it's not a combo, right? So, and it requires a heat dash to get that. Otherwise, it's just a regular knockdown. So, immediately, already different in that sense. He does have a really nice counter hit tool in 1 plus 2. This is a full counter hit launch that's safe. Right? I can go into this. Continue the combo. I don't know the, I don't know his combos yet. Wow, grounded hit for 73 is pretty good. So... The mid counter hit being a safe launcher is really, really cool, but this was more like Lars in Tekken Tag 2. And I think the pattern of this character is that he feels a lot like Lars from Tekken Tag 2 on a surface level. I wasn't a very high level Tag 2 player, but I did enjoy playing Lars. And why I think that is because Victor has some cool quick options like this mid. He has a full crouch game with this low high and this while standing 1 plus 2 low. So Lars... Uh, had really a really safe full crouch game. Victor's this is launch punishable if you duck it. So not quite that good, but this one plus two is completely safe. So he has that benefit. Uh, other things that remind me of Lars are the manual stance entries and how these have like little mix ups in them, but they also have a uh, combo value combo utility so we were just watching a combo video and rather than me try to piece it all together i'm gonna pull up the combo video right now and kind of show you what was so cool about um victor in his combos this guy uh this is dango jin dango jin's combo game is fire they're always really good at discovering the cool stuff really early i have to mute it because it has metal gear audio and i'll get dmca'd if i play that but let's check out the combos. So I'll write some notes here. Uh, no 13 frame high counter hit launch. So this is pretty standard for so far, but he immediately does some really cool stuff here. Let's check this out. Again, this reminds me of kind of Lars's combo game. That's why I'm bringing up the combos and how he goes into stances. Down forward 2, down forward 4, 2, EI 2, right? And then he plays sidestep right into down back 1, 1. Floating into the perfumer stance where he can do 2, 2, 2. 2-2-1, two, two, and then a running 2 to finish. Similar story here. Oh, sorry, no, this one's different. This one's really, really cool. I'll play that one more time. So what he does is he does up forward 4, which is an instant tornado. And uh, after that, he does a raw perfumer into, down, into perfumer 1 while standing 4. Down back 1-1 one, one, perfumer again. 2-2-1, two, two, and that gives the corkscrew on Zafina here so he can get while running 2. 68 damage, really, really nice. For comparison, um, so what we're talking about here is like stance-based stance, stance -based combos. Which Noctis didn't really do, aside from the fly stance, but Lars did in tag two. Um, stance-based combos, he does 61 damage with down forward two is the normal combo, like the one they recommend. Dango Jin does 65 damage. Right? Um, the... Up forward four combo did 68 damage. Sorry, I'm so unorganized here. I'm so frazzled. This game is so exciting to finally play that I'm so unorganized here. It's not down forward one, it's down forward two. And then the up forward four, his did 68 damage. I don't know what the base amount is. 
I think it's less because usually the instant tornado kind of kills a lot of the value. While standing one here, again, we see the raw perfumer one into while standing four, two, two, one, forward, forward, two to tailspin. And then he whiffs the first hit of the string. He cut that combo off so quickly. That was really cool. Look at it again. While standing one, raw perfumer one, while standing four, down back one, one, perfumer two, two, one, four, four, two, and then whiffing the four, three, two. So that was really cool. Off of while standing one, he was able to get 74 damage. Let's look at the rest of the combos here. This is a two minute video. Four, four, two. Instant while standing two. He uses EI one, one to tailspin. This is a counter hit down back four launcher. So he loves doing this raw perfumer uh, one into the while standing four. And it seems to give him a lot of opportunities here. It lets him do that two, two, one out of the perfumer stance. While standing four, down back one, one, two, two, one. Super, super cool combo. So we're going to see, I think we're going to see that a lot. This is, okay, this is a really important combo off of the uh, counter hit 1 plus 2. Good lord, 74 damage off of the counter. Okay, so let's try this combo out. Uh, I haven't tried this yet. So counter hit 1 plus 2, he was able to get 74 damage. Let's look at the combo I was doing and then compare it to his. I think we've seen it enough times to hopefully put it together. 74 damage, okay, let's, let's check this out. Uh, where's my Tekken game? Woo. The game audio back up. Okay. So, how does he do this? He does counter hit 1 plus 2. And then raw perfumer. Into while standing 4. And then, how does he... What does he do the next thing? Down back 1-1. One, one, down back 1-1. One, one. You guys will see very quickly. I'm not a good combo guy. Oh, he's at the wall. We have to change stages. <laughs> my fault. I got too excited to play in the Paris stage. People were hating on the music, but I love the music. The music is so fun. <laughs> Alright. So. Counter hit 1 plus 2. Raw. Oh. Counter hit 1 plus 2. Raw perfumer 1. While standing 4. Down back 1, 1. Oh! How did I miss that? Do I have to delay it? Well, let's look at what I, the combo I would have done normally is something like this. Right? 67 damage, but he's able to get 74 with all these stances. So let's try and learn that. I think this will be important. Oh, wait. I messed up. That's not it. Oops. Oh, wait. No, you're supposed to whiff. You're supposed to whiff the first hit. To get the second hit. Oh yes, let's set the uh, input display. Thank you for the reminder. I think uh, it's really annoying when people do combos without that. No hate, of course. So there's a weird delay between him striking this pose when he hits it and when you can do perfumer. It's not like a hard input, it's just awkward. Okay, so it's not that hard. I don't know how I whiffed it the first time. But 74 damage, pretty reliable. You just have to get creative with the stances. So he goes into stance once here, goes into stance again. And then this is just a dash forward, forward, two. That's a really, really cool combo. That's really, I wonder how it plays with like wall carry, right? Like, uh, it seems to carry really far. Is it like easily easy to adjust if you're close to the wall? 78 at the wall. I'm sure you can get a better wall combo or something. But, uh, I'm not a combo specialist. Let's let's check out the rest of the video. That's really cool. I guess I can leave the music on from our video, from the game. Okay, this is running to counter hit. Sorry. Running to counter hit. One. Down like one, one, two, two, one. Okay, so that is like his staple. That seems to be what he prefers to do. And he's getting so much damage on these instant tornado combos. So usually instant tornado is supposed to do less damage, right? But he does running to instant tornado and he still finds a lot of damage. And the combo doesn't seem to change very much. It's just if you're, if you don't have tornado to use here, you don't do four. Oh no, you can't see it. <laughs> My fault. Okay, okay, okay. So what the combo we're looking at is uh, right here. Running to instant tornado. And then the same thing we've been seeing. Into the Perfumer, 2-2-1. Two, two, and I don't know how he's getting more damage without... Oh, it just the launcher just does a lot of damage. I think that's what it is. That running 2 counter hit must do a lot of damage. Yeah, it does 36 counter hit launch. 
And then he gets this combo. Corkscrew, but he doesn't have his tornado to use, so he just does running two. 80 damage. Here's another combo. Looks the same so far. Oh, oh, heat burst. Whoa. <laughs> so the heat burst, if you don't know, I believe it reduces your combo count by two hits. In Tekken, the more hits you do in a combo, the farther they fly away, the less you can do. But he uses the heat burst here. It reduces the combo count by like two. That lets him do another down back one, one heat burst, uh, heat dash up one plus two is guaranteed. That was cool. Oh, we were looking at this combo earlier. Okay, so, hey, okay, I had I had some little thing figured out. We were looking at this combo earlier where if you use EI-1-1, you get a bit more wall carry. And so he does EI-1-1 twice, gets a wall splat here, and then what is that move he did? One, He just spammed 1 plus 2? Forward 2, and then he spams 1 plus 2. 79 damage, that's really cool. Oh, that's a counter hit guaranteed? Okay, this is that. We'll call that the raw perfumer combo because it seems to be the same thing every time. Whoa, nice carry. Delays the 432. Dash jab, down back 1 1. Wow. Let's see that again. That was really cool. So off of a raw forward forward 2. Raw forward forward 2. Instant while standing 2. Down back 1 1. Perfumer 2 2 1. 4 4 2 to Tornado, Dash Jab, Down Back 1 1, and then just a single 2 and he gets a clean wall splat. Running 2 wall splat, up 1 plus 2, breaks the wall, he did 62 damage with that. 74. Breaks it again? He hasn't used his Tornado yet. Wow. Oh my god, that was cool. I know we got sidetracked from is he Noctis or not, but these combos are really, really sick. These are stance combos that you would see like Lars do, in my mind. A lot of the dashing, a lot of wall carry. These combos are really cool. So Victor's dash jab is decent. There's the perfumer knee. That move seems really important. And then rage art. That outfit looks like a foxhound sneaking suit. Is that the end of the video? Okay, that's the end of the video. So, so the biggest thing that Dango Jin has found that we are taking advantage of is, uh, oops, put on turbo mode. The biggest thing Dango Jin found uh, is the, is this raw perfumer thing. So he's using this in combos to get a nice big spin to set up the ender. And all of his combos are built on that, which is really nice. Um, except the down forward two, and that one was weird. But like this. And then down back 1-1. One, one. I gotta get that in my muscle memory. And that running 2 is, I don't think, too hard to link. If you were here earlier, I was messing up my 10-hit combos, so that's an indication of how much execution I can do. Okay, you have to be kind of faster there. Nope, that doesn't work. Oh my. We're going to be here for a minute, boys. But anyways, I'll try this a few more times and then keep talking about Victor versus Noctis. Wow, I'm struggling. I think that's the combo he did, right? Oops. Oh. Let's try the fastest running two I can do. Oh man. Thank you for the prime sub, Nani Soreta. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I can't get it, man. I might have to practice that a lot more. I swear that was it. Sheesh. Okay. Well, off of while standing one, I think it's easier, right? Oh my goodness. The 2-2-1 I'm struggling with. 
Uh, let's see. That's a bit easier. And then I have to whiff the second hit of that. Oh, a little bit more delay, maybe? That's very satisfying. Huh. I'm so confused on hit that. On how to hit that. I'm so confused on how Dango Jin discovered that. That was sick. Huh. You guys got any clues for me? This seems a little ridiculous. Oops. Sidestep right. I don't think I saw him do that, though. That's the crazy part. Okay, I can't delay that one. Yeah, I like the old button display as well. Last one. Hmm. Too much delay. So maybe you just have to mash it out, and if you're late, then you lose it. You do whiff the first of the ender. That's how he does it. We were watching Dango Jin's video. And what we're confused about is how to get that ender on the while standing one. Oh, he does a little sidestep right. I think I saw a little bit of a sidestep right there. Right again. Because it's, it's not a distance thing. I think it's an axis thing. It is a sidestep right. That's how you do it. Micro sidestep to the right. Okay. You guys realize I have to restart my video, right? At this point, we went too off the rails. So I know you were hanging out. We have to start. We have to restart. You invented that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we have to restart the video. I'm a little sorry, but I'm not that sorry. Waste the video? No, it's fine. Just do it again. Here for the director's cut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's FeedyX. We're coming to you from hour two, almost, of the Tekken 8 launch. We finally have access to the game with the rest of the public. And the first thing, of course, is we looked at Victor's whole move list. We looked up some combos. We tried to figure out how the character is. We just want to answer the question, is Victor the new Noctis? I spoke with Mr. Murray, Mr. Michael Murray, at the after party of the Tekken World Tour Finals. And he told me that they expected everybody who liked Noctis would like Victor. I made my entire brand off of playing Noctis. So do I enjoy the character? Yes and no. Let's get into what I think Noctis is all about, what I think Victor will be about, because we really don't know yet, and how it's all coming together. So, when I played Noctis, I obviously can't demonstrate it right here, but I loved moving around with Noctis, finding counter hits, and finding whiff punishes. So Noctis had a move that looked like this move, but it was a 13 frame high instead of a 15 frame high. 
Now, Victor's goes really far, which is pretty cool. That goes really, really far. Victor's is a power crush and a heat engager, but it's never a launcher. Even if you spend heat to do a heat dash, most he gets 57 damage, which is a lot of damage. That's a sizable amount of damage, but it's not a combo, right? So already that uh, up forward one counter hit high dream is kind of dead. That's stuck with Steve, I believe. Steve and uh, Azucena actually has a high that performs similarly. So it's not gone from the game. It's just not in Victor's kit. What else does he have? Uh, Noctis was famous for his down forward two. Huge whiff punish. Victor has something slightly similar with forward forward two. Right? This is at this range, Noctis might whiff punish something, and Victor will as well. However, it's a forward forward input and it's 18 frames. So it will come out probably realistically in 20 frames. And I don't know how reliable that is compared to Noctis's down forward two. Noctis was 15 frames at that same distance. What that meant is if a Mishima whiffed an electric, you could very reliably whiff punish it with Noctis. I don't know if I would try forward forward two as Victor going down to 20 frames and being launch punishable if they block it. It's a little bit of a risk for me. So we're missing the monster whiff punish. We're missing the super fast high counter hit. He has some similarities. He has this one plus two. This is a mid safe counter hit. Uh, minus eight on block and 15 frames. So that's close to Noctis's forward forward one plus two. But Noctis's forward forward one plus two is actually kind of close to this move. Super fast advancing and homing. However, Victor's up forward two here does not have the counter hit property so the core identity of noctis that i enjoy is not present in this character he does have a fun backdash i wouldn't say it's very good it doesn't go super far but it's fun to do it cancels really smoothly and i enjoy moving around in this character so for whatever that's worth victor is cool there all right what else is similar to noctis victor doesn't have a classic down jab his down back one is mapped to a mid and his down one is mapped to a low so he can't do this quick down jab he can do it with down two, or down back two, but that's 11 frames. That said, it is still pretty functional, and that's pretty cool. Other similarities to Noctis, uh, this down back one string is very, very reminiscent of Noctis having a very similar move. 15 frames, Victor's is 14 frames, a bit less damage. Um, Noctis could cancel into a roll, Victor can go into his perfumer stance, so pretty similar. Uh, let's, let's make the opponent block it and just kind of look at Victor's frames conceptually. It's minus seven, pretty similar to Noctis doing the first hit of his move. Victor goes into stance, it's minus five now. Noctis wasn't a big stance user in his offense, right? So Victor has this perfumer stance that has like these mix-ups. Uh, that's not a mix-up. There's the middle there, right? He has the mid knee. Noctis didn't really play like that. The roll stance was not that reliable. It was pretty high risk, and it was really easy to mitigate if the opponent was ready for it. So you don't see a lot of that. He has this stance, which is really, really cool. This stance seems really powerful. This uh, knockdown low that's homing. It even hits behind him. He has some low string, like mind games here, where he can like threaten the second hit, but he doesn't have to commit to it. Noctis didn't really play like that. He had the fly stance, which Victor obviously doesn't have, and the roll stance. So Victor doesn't have the key traits of Noctis, has some of his own unique traits, and they kind of deviate. One thing that Victor has that I love is he has Ravens while standing too, a 14 frame mid safe counter hit launcher. This is a really, really good move. So the fact that he has this is awesome. Noctis didn't have any of that. So already it's just so different. Yes, you see knife moves with the 2-2. He has this range projectile with QCF2, but I don't think at high level Noctis was a projectile character, right? Uh, this is a high projectile, so they can duck it. It puts him in a stance. Uh, Noctis's forward two was more of a situational move if you really expected them to just walk forward. Um, so all these knife moves too really remind me of Kunimitsu more than anything, right? Like they're really fast, 12 and 13 frames. Uh, I haven't checked the tracking yet. We can do that right now. Let's check the tracking. If the opponent jabs me and then sidesteps. Oops, not that. Let's let's set Victor to jab me and sidestep, okay? Can the 2-2 track that? Okay, so this is a very Kunimitsu trait to have a 12 frame tracking sidestep move, right? That was literally what her 2-2 did. Oh, my bad. I'm trying to get him to step to the screen. This new practice mode is so robust, but I'm just getting used to it still. Okay, little sidewalk left block. Let's see if Victor can track that. 
So he has Kunimitsu's homing 2-2, two -two, we've just verified. With this, and the fact that he's going into stances a lot that advance and have these mix-ups, I immediately get Kunimitsu energy and Raven energy. Going into stances, uh, he has Lars's counter hit uh, mid. In Tekken Tag 2, this was Lars's down forward 2. It was a safe launching mid. It wasn't homing like Noctis's, but it had such presence. You had to always respect it. And it was around 15 frames. I think maybe it was 16. Um, I could be wrong. I haven't played Tag 2. I wasn't very I wasn't very good in Tag 2, and I haven't played it in forever. All of this is to say that although I really enjoy the aesthetic of the character, it is so hard to draw Noctis comparisons. The closest thing is that when you launch, he does down forward 4-2 to combo, which is what Noctis did. And you can kind of spam down forward 4-2 and get a decent combo off of that. Right? Down forward 4-2 puts him in the stance. And, you know, he's very flashy and really, really cool. I love his aesthetic. But gameplay-wise, it's not the same. Now, I don't think that's a bad thing. Because Tekken 8 is not Tekken 7. Tekken 7 had the really powerful low parries. Tekken 7 had really strong counter hit options. And Tekken 7 had disproportionately good movement among some of the cast versus other cast members. What Tekken 8 has shown so far is that sidesteps are pretty uniformly powerful across the whole cast. It's a lot easier to move around these moves. Um, counter hit launchers have been nerfed across the board, so Victor isn't weak for not having one. And it's not that his whiff punishment is bad, right? Like from two back dashes away, he gets the down forward too. Um, he always has this option if they whiff a big move. And then he has something Noctis never had. His running two is a counter hit launcher, which is similar to Noctis, but it's plus on block. If I can get him to block it. There, plus five on block. And it's a mid. So he doesn't have the homing trait that Noctis had, but in exchange, he gets frame advantage into a mix-up. It's more aggressive. Noctis would do a move, and Noctis would have to backdash or sidestep or block. But Victor has this aggression, right? I put you at plus five, I can counter hit launch you because uh, 15 frames, right? Say I don't, say you try to sidestep it, I have 2-2 two, two to track both sidesteps. So, now given 2-2 two, two is minus 12, but it does have extension threats to kind of cover that, right? So in that sense, he does have some Noctis similarities where he does 2-2, two, two, he can threaten to extend it, which makes you might not want to punish it, right? Or make you resist the urge of punishing it. Uh, not an exact parallel, but has some of that mental frame characteristic. Noctis had a really good down forward one. Victor's is okay. Minus two on block, Noctis's was minus one. Victor's is plus four. I believe Noctis's was plus seven. And uh, again, different games. So down forward ones, as we know it, may function differently. But uh, difference to note. Down four is a very similar to Noctis move. This low tracks in both directions. And uh, Noctis had a low that tracked in both directions. Victor gets a lot of value off the counter hit because he shoots him three times. <laughs> but it's a low damage low, and it, it clearly is not meant to be a mix-up threat as much as it is a low to get them to play the game so that you can threaten with your other moves, right? Interesting to note that Victor's 2-2 is not safe like Kunimitsu's. We, are, we briefly covered that, but I thought it was worth reiterating because Kuni and Noctis could spam the 2-2. Victor has to probably be a little more careful. Um, he has some of the same mix-ups, like he can go mid, or he can go high. This string is interesting because it doesn't jail. The opponent can duck, but we tested it, and you can't really get any punishes in here. They can flash duck, but then they'll get hit. One thing I would actually like to see, I'm going to set the Victor to do this. I bet you can Rage Art in between that, so let's try that. This is forward 2-2, two, 2-2-2, two, 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 two. yeah. It's actually just three inputs, forward 2-2-2, two, 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 but he does like five slashes. I'm going to give myself Rage, and I'm going to see if I can duck and Rage Art. Ooh. You can't Rage Art in time. Oh, you can, you can, I lied. You have to be super fast. You have to instantly do it. So it's a hard read. Because he has that mid option, right? Um, one thing he has half in common with Noctis is he has this parry. The difference is it is way slower than Noctis's. Noctis's was three frames. So, uh, 
just to record the example here, if Victor does jab, jab, and you have a three to 10 frame parry, like the standard Tekken parries tend to be, you'd be able to parry the second hit. However, this parry must be slower than 11 frames because I'm spamming the jab and I can't parry it. So you have to parry kind of in advance. I actually found it like decently hard to hit the parry because of how slow it is. But you get a guaranteed heat engage on it. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, that is crazy though. If you trade, you're plus 23. So the, the, the parry trade is actually ideal. I see how Main Man struggles to do these things live now. This is my first time trying to do it live. <laughs> so that was a guaranteed combo. Let's see if a different poke makes the parry easier. I'm going to try jab down forward one. I believe this should work. I don't know. Oh, wow. He gets the parry trade, which gives you a full launch. 23 frames. <laughs> Nice. Oh, but the scaling is weird. I only got 43 damage. It looks like it treats him airborne. It looks like you don't get a lot of damage. That's really weird. Even with forward forward two, it only does 18 damage. Whereas normally forward forward two does 26. So because it scales the combo, you lose damage. That seems pretty fair because from what I understand, this parry parries everything. It just, uh, it's really slow. So it's probably more worth it, to be honest, of just going into heat unless you get a guaranteed uh, combo that kills. What other cool things about Victor? Victor has the stance offense and he has a low parry built into it. So we were having some fun earlier going into stance, ducking the high, and then walking forward. This parry is weird because it's very fast, unlike this parry. It's very, very fast, but it times out very quickly. So if you do it too early, it doesn't work. Right there. See how early I entered the low parry? You have to enter it right as his kick is about to hit you. It's even more strict, I think, than a standard low parry. I can't verify that, though. Yeah, it's more strict than a normal low parry. You can do the normal low parry way in advance. Right? But Victor's EI parry, you can't. You have to do it right as it's about to make contact. So, all in all, Victor. I know this isn't a holistic summary. You're not seeing any, like, a lot of gameplay. But I just wanted to give you the first impressions as quickly as I could. And what I'm seeing so far is, yeah, he is not Noctis. He is something completely different. But that doesn't mean I don't like him. I think uh, he's a really cool character. He very clearly has some insane strengths, looking mainly at this counter hit move. The stance offense looks kind of oppressive because if you try to duck that, you're gonna eat a bunch of mids. The perfumer stance seems actually stronger for mix-ups because he has the immediate mix-ups here. And he can cancel into full crouch, not that. He can cancel into full crouch and do a safe mid or a, you know, this low isn't like, insane it's zero on block on hit and it's launch punishable if he ducks it but it feels overwhelming just even to learn it like i'm not even the one defending against it and it feels overwhelming right this is a plus frame mid i don't know if it has a counter hit effect actually it doesn't but uh already it's just a strangely different character completely different flavor but very very cool one other thing i wanted to highlight that i hadn't seen yet in any other victor gameplay was up forward three on counter hit gives this insane flip over that guarantees a forward forward two and if they wake up wrong i think you can get a launch off of this right it hits them in the back so this is a really scary concept off of this safe mid counter hit attempt 18 frames minus nine on block and it jumps over lows, I believe. So if Victor tries to do a low here, I'm jumping. Let's, let's, let's put that to the test real quick. I'm going to do jab and then down back four. And let's see if I can jump over that and get a counter hit. Yep. So smacking their neck into the ground. Look at this animation. Oh my god. The up forward three counter hit. Forward forward two guaranteed 42 damage. 
And then, if they wake up wrong, I launch them. And I don't know what you get after that. Uh, again, I'm still learning the combos myself. But, one thing uh, I finally want to cover, aside from this hilariousness. I don't know what to do after that. Um, besides this hilariousness, the last thing I want to cover is some Victor combo stuff. If you're trying to figure out Victor, the sample combos are pretty decent. However, we saw a showcase, you probably wonder what this note was, the stance-based combos from Dango Jin. An incredible combo artist. Uh, let's put up his video real quick. I'll talk about what I saw, and then I'll see if I can demonstrate some of them, show some of the tricks. A lot of combos in Tekken have, like, one trick you need to figure out, and once you do that, they work really well. I know that sounded really strange, like, just one trick and you'll figure it out, but really, 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 that's how Tekken combos tend to work. Let's look at Victor here. I had to mute the audio because he plays Metal Gear music and Konami will get on me for that. Down forward 2, down forward 4-2, EI 2, sidestep right, down back 1-1. One, one. We're going to replay this because I can't speak fast enough to cover what he's doing, okay? Just down forward 2, down forward 4-2, EI to screw. Sidestep right, down back 1-1, one, one, and he holds forward to go into Perfumer stance. Then he does 2-2-1 two, two, out of Perfumer, which puts June in this corkscrew, and then he gets a while running 2. One more time. Down back one, one, two, two, one, running two. Okay, he's gonna do that a lot. So here's up forward four, and this is what I call, for lack of a better name, the raw perfumer combo route. Because what he does after the launch, what he does after the launch, he goes raw perfumer stance with forward three. Then he hits perfumer one. You can while standing four after this, and then do down back one, one to go to perfumer again. Two, two, one for the screw, and then running two. So he's going to use this throughout the entire video, so I won't highlight it every time, but here's while standing one, raw perfumer route, down back one, one, and now he still has his tornado. So forward, forward two works there, and I love these combos where they whiff the first hit of a three hit string. And something you might not see, there's a cool trick here. Uh, I'll highlight it uh, when I do the combo, but he needs to do a small sidestep right to get that whiff string to work. This is off counter hit down back four, raw perfumer route again. This is worth learning. It was a bit challenging for me, to be honest, because the buttons feel weird. And there again is the whiffed string to get it. This is going to be a key combo. This is off the counter hit one plus two. Raw perfumer route again. The nice part about, even though this combo is kind of like, has a bit of a learning curve, it looks like it works for everything. And the fact that it works for everything is really, really nice. Running two, and he still does the same combo route. Running two looks really, really nasty. It's mid. You have to sidestep it, I imagine. Raw Perfumer route again. This time he uses heat, and this is something cool Victor has. When he heat dashes, he gets up one plus two, and it does a ton of damage. Look how much damage that did. 80? 100. That does 20 damage on the ground. This is cool. He does down forward four two, and we were exploring this route earlier, where if you, instead of using the EI2, the big slash, he uses EI1-1, one, one, and that gives him two hits instead of the big one hit. A bit more carry. Down forward 4-2, bit more carry, to the wall, and then he does this string. If you look at his inputs on the left, it's a forward 2-2 two, two string, but how he does it as a shortcut is he hits forward 2 at the top there, and then just mashes 1 plus 2. Kunimitsu had a combo like this too. Okay, second hit of the string counter hits, he gets a guaranteed launch. Raw Perfumer route one more time. 2-2-1, two, two, forward forward 2 to Tornado. This is how he wall carries. This is really, really good intel. So after that, he does single jab, down back 1-1, one, one. doesn't go into stance, and then uses the string. You can delay that last hit to get the grounded scaling, that's how he gets more damage. 4-3, delay 2. Okay, this is off a of raw forward, forward 2. Instant while standing 2. This route was different, let's check this out again. Instant while standing 2, down back 1-1, one, one, two, two, one. Tornado again, dash jab, down back 1-1, one, one. single hit 2 into a clean wall splat. That surprised me that he got a clean wall splat off that. This combo is ridiculous. So running two, up one plus two, hasn't used his tornado yet. Up one plus two, keeps breaking walls. 98 damage before the tornado. Finally gets the wall and then tornadoes. Up one plus two again, 128 damage. This combo looks like it's designed to break a lot of walls because he's spending a lot of damage doing the dash jabs, but then he gets the next wall. Now he can tornado. Big knee to break the wall, heat burst, and then rage art. So, this is pretty sweet. Dangojin is the combo goat. 
that is the last combo he does. Okay, so let's try and demonstrate one of it, one of these, and then I'm sure you guys want to get to playing the game. So let us let me show you the trick for the one combo that I found was pretty difficult. So the two things that I found difficult in attempting his combos was getting the running two to hit and then getting the last, uh, the whiff first hit of the three hit string to work. So I'll do the second one first because that's easier for me. So while standing one, raw perfumer. I can't talk that much while I do it. Tornado, sidestep right, and that's how you get the last hit there. No, I did it again. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go. One more time. While standing one, raw perfumer. Here we go. I was saying it's hard to talk here, but I get the tornado. Sidestep right, and that sidestep right is how you whiff the first hit and get the last two hits of the string. If you don't do that, the last hit whiffs. Now, this is the combo I was struggling to do. It's off the up forward four. It's pretty much the same, but you have to get while running two here. And I cannot get that while running two for the life of me. So I'm going to try to figure it out and see if I can tell you guys the trick when I get it. I'm always, it feels like I'm always a little bit late. And if you guys have an idea, not in YouTube, but in the chat, <laughs> give me a, give me a, give me a tip. Forward, forward two does work there, but it I'm using my screw in the beginning. I got it one time. I got it one time, and I've never gotten it since. Okay, let's let's check this. Let's check this. Let's check the. Let's be smart about this. Let's check the. Uh, check the actual video. This time I'll remember to switch back. Watch the reference. So this is the up forward four. Yep. Looks the same so far. Are we missing any side steps? He does a... He has like a little dash before the running two, I think. So he's letting the running two move a little bit. So maybe it's not timing, but distance. Maybe he have to get really deep. Get really deep in there. You know what I'm saying? Let's try it. Wow, I missed it. What the heck? Man. So I think that's too late. I think I'm I think I'm too late on that one. But that time was I too early? This time I did a little sidestep right. Let's see if that makes a difference. It makes that whip. So you can't sidestep right because the down back one doesn't work. So you have to stay on this axis. Let's test the forward forward two. See how much we're really missing out on. It's missing out on a lot. <laughs> Sixty-eight. Wait, that's the same damage. You're not missing out on anything by doing forward forward two. But I'm being stubborn now and I want to hit it. I'm enraged. Aha! You don't get the same damage. Good catch. This is why chat is so fire. Okay. Sixty-four. You lose four damage. You lose four damage. So this is worth doing, if it's consistent. And something tells me it's consistent. I'm just ass. Up for two, Ender? No, 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 no. It's not up for two. He's doing running two. All right. We'll look at this one more time. Let's check the inputs. What are his inputs? Check the source of truth. The torque corkscrew. 
and he does forward 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 two and that's it looks like four frames then five frames then three frames so it, it might just be fast let's just see how slow mine is okay appreciate you it ha it happens i do try to make it educational although here i'm fumbling let's see let's see if we can get it okay Asking about the big red ender? That's not up for two. No, that's out of stance. That, oh, up one plus two? That, uh, we could try it. It doesn't hit. V paints, thank you for the sub. Let's try it. So my running two. is faster so maybe i need to go slower maybe i waited 23 frames to do mine oh there's a longer delay before i start running too okay That time I rated 28 frames. Jeez. This uh, frame counter is really nice. I like it, even though I don't like the inputs on the left. <sighs> 23 again. I'm like not acting as soon as I can. First forward fast. It's crazy. I got it one time and I've never gotten it again. That's how kings do it in combos. Is it showing? Am I doing this? Am I? Am I true? No, no, no. He waits 44 frames to even do the running too. So I feel like my inputs aren't very clean. Let me clean up my inputs first. So I do, I'm comparing just to his frame counter here. He does, he, maybe the priority is to get deep, not to get fast. Oh, I'm mashing the one button, so I have to chill. I'm mashing the one button. That's why my frame counter is different. Oh yeah, he does it really fast. He does it really fast. Okay. So he's doing it super fast. That's what it is. Or buffering the first one. I'm closer. I did running one. <laughs> oh my god, I swear to god, I'm so close, man. <laughs> my combos are getting cleaner, though. Like, the part in between. I'm being much cleaner with my inputs. Is there a mystery third move? Listen, my point is not giving up. I could probably get a way like easier ender, right? Like, I don't think that's the problem. The problem is I'm not happy not being able to not do it. <laughs> trying to learn that method where you do buffer the first dash and then just do double aha 
Aha. That looks right, right? What's up, Gosane? Did you see the Dango Jin combo video? I'm trying to buffer my instant while running three. Or while running two. Like that. Okay. So I do a slow and then double forward. Okay. So this video is going to go on YouTube. We got Gosane in the chat. He did the breakdown of Victor the first time. Now I am literally just trying to land this one combo so I can end this video. However, I cannot get this one combo. Let's try it. Oh my Matter of learning the recovery? Yes, but you can buffer the first dash, apparently. So. That was better. That was better. I think I just didn't go deep enough. Okay, one conspiracy theory. Maybe I need to be hitting Zafina. Maybe it doesn't work on men. Get ready for the next Not likely, battle. but possible. Just reduce the variables that we're dealing with here, you know? Let's try it. It might be... It might be a non-male working combo. I did it on the first try. <laughs> no way, man. I might just be ass. Hang on. Oh, it's 66. Yeah. Thank you, Cyber Wizard. I can't do it anymore, man. What is the trick? What is the trick? I need somebody to click clip it. I don't know what it is. Was it speed or was it depth? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Maybe I, like, need to do some of the strings faster in between? Like, that one needs to be really fast? Am I rushing or dragging? I don't know! Oh... How do you do it? On the plus side, I'm building really good muscle memory for doing the rest of the combo. Uh, yeah, after 2-2-1, two, two, good idea. I feel like you can act really soon. This combo trial is proof that Victor isn't the new Noctis? Yeah, because Noctis doesn't have any combos like this. Think you're not instant while stand instant while running? T skills, I'm about to ban you. What is this? Who, fuck me, who called Sherlock Holmes? Of course it's too slow! I did differently. I don't know what I did differently. I have no idea. Like, I want to figure it out. It might just be the instant because I did a 26 frame delay before the instant while running. So.
Oh, maybe the range is just longer and I can just go really shallow. Like, don't even try to hit her. Just go fast. I don't think that'll work. We'll try it. No, I think you have to be fast and deep. Twenty six frames. doing combos but i'm so stumped i want to learn it <laughs> is that a clip of me doing it should i look at this oh my god my browser okay wait i see it i see it we can do this we have to believe do not surrender does he feel like noctis no he does not feel like Noctis. What the hell? That was weird. Uh, it like pulled up my background. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's watch this. Let's... I'm suffering, man. I just want to complete the video with a good understanding of what I did, but I have no understanding of what I did. I'm clueless. Okay. Watching my inputs. Watching the character. He hits her while she's down. How does this work? Oh my god, we got like infinity loop in the screen. <laughs> so he runs forward. It's like a, a it really is a mix of depth and speed. You can't be too slow and you can't be too shallow. At the perfect yeah, it's like it's it's a perfect combo. Like, there, I think I was too shallow, or too deep, actually. I'm gonna try looking at Victor when I do this combo, instead of looking at Zafina. Right? Like, I'm gonna see if that's better. That looks like it should work, no? Yeah, this is not a bread and butter for sure. This is too hard to do consistently. So we'll do forward forward too, right? Let me make let me make sure she's tech rolling actually. Oh, that's hard, man. Thank you, Andre. Yeah, we got more YouTube stuff to do for sure, but I haven't streamed in a while and I love being live. So this is great. Thanks for coming in. Does that not work?
QCF2 is a high. If the combo artist toes running two, then 442 might be harder, yeah. It's crazy that I did it on the first try, and then... I have no idea why. <laughs> Oh my god. It's early for you, Beta. Well, I appreciate you hanging out. Thank you. be my ender. Fifty-nine. So if I rush the running two, I get like that. What's up, Hendo? I'm trying to see... <laughs> we just spent the whole video talking about why he's not Noctis, but you'll have to check YouTube for that. No, I didn't just hit it. I did a short version. I did just this. So it's like a... I think it's a... Like if I just do this... Without the well, like this is what makes it hard. So many hits. I just did uh, this, just the down back one run right away. Trying to understand the mechanics of running one, running two. Adding another hit here. I think it's a distance thing then. I think it's distance. I think that's how the move works. You have to get far. Okay, okay. So the speed matters because the distance matters. So the hard part of this move and getting the ender is getting the max distance. Understanding. At least I understand it. And that's what makes it feel good. Oh my god, I hate that combo. <laughs> Oh, I hate that combo, man. That combo sucks. <laughs> so we tested it. We tested how many combo hits and how to get it to hit. And the, the, the differentiating factor is you need to get real deep in there. So in order to get real deep in there, you got to go real fast. Less knowledge. Well, it's definitely still a skill check because I don't think I can do it again. But at least I understand why I can't, which makes me feel better. Yeah, see, you have to go fast and go deep. No pause. Okay, somebody listed one more combo. Let's do that to soothe our consciences, and then we'll check out this video. Running two has to be counter hit, probably. Down forward three, four. Down forward three, two. I did the wrong thing because I keep mashing. Wait, there's a better combo than this. 72 damage. This is a good example. This is a good example of somebody being a valued contributor. I'm not making fun of you. <laughs> 72 damage, right? Okay, I think I think you could do the this. 
Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. And trying it only loses you one damage. So this is actually worth it here. Because if you try it and mess up, you only lose one damage. 80! Yes! That's way better. That's way better. But I appreciate the comparison. That's really, really good. So, the Perfumer route is ideal except for off of Hopkick. Wait, that's not right. I have a Tailspin still. Wow, the, there's so much delay before you can do the raw stance. It feels really bad. On a laggy setup, that's going to feel horrible. That's not it. Like, there's so much delay before you can act because he's striking a damn pose. I can fucking go, uh, and then do my combo. <laughs> damn it, <laughs> that's too slow. <laughs> Instead of 2 to one it might not reach. And I'm in stance. That's the, pro that's the problem. But let's try it. Yeah, I can't do that move out of the stance. That's why. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, shit. What if I don't go into stance? And I just do down back 1-1? One, one? It misses. Haha. <laughs> Fire. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. Dango Jin's combos are cool. That's the moral of that story. In order to land the running two as an ender, you have to go super deep. And in order to go super deep, JJ Breeze is going to love this. You got to go really fast. Otherwise, if those conditions are not met, you cannot do the combo. Right? So I'm not going to try that. I'm not going to get stuck trying this combo again. I'm not going to get stuck trying this combo again. <sighs> I'm not going to get stuck trying this combo again. <laughs> Oh my god. This guy was so hard. Okay, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Is Victor the new Noctis? No. He's missing too many key traits that made Noctis' identity. He's visually similar because he has the weapons. He's got some anime stuff. But in terms of first impressions gameplay, he is completely missing Noctis' tools. So he cannot play like Noctis. However, he still seems good. Down forward 2 has decent range. Forward forward 2 is a nice whiff punish. One thing I really think is going to be an initial challenge for Noctis players is the fact that his punishment is so much more in-depth. Noctis had like two key punishers that he really had to do, and the rest didn't matter. Victor has so many options. His 13 frame this. Uh, he could 13 frame with this if he wanted to, I guess. Like, if you wanted to get a mix-up, you have 13 frame for damage. You have another 13 frame. Like, he is... Oh, this is 12 frame. 12 frame punish with this. 12 frame punish with this. He has so many punishment choices that it's hard to say that he has the same ease of use that Noctis had. Right? And, and, and I think that was the magic formula for Noctis is not only was he really a passive movement-based player or character... But he was really easy, right? So just because Victor has a 2-2 does not mean he's the same. In fact, I think he's very different. That said, there are things to look for out of Victor that Noctis never had and would have benefited from. So Victor, the, the last similarity to Noctis is this counter hit launching mid. Yes, Noctis was homing. Victor's is faster. Feels like Lars. In exchange, what does he get? He has his homing low has a counter hit property. He has a counter hit launching low, right? So he has some more high reward options that Noctis didn't have. That means he has a bit more comeback potential. Aside from that, his the fact that he has stance offense, here's a low, here's a mid, heat engaging mid, and this is one of his launching heat engaging mids, right? So he has ways to create pressure into a comeback, which Noctis did not have. That was one of Noctis's biggest problems was that without finding counter hits and whiff punishes, an opponent could block against you all day and eventually win. Victor, I don't think you can comfortably just block against. He can go into stance, he can go like this, he can 
do so many things that we haven't explored yet. He has a mid that power crushes, right? Like, he can force so much pressure. He has a full crouch mix. He has a lot of options. So, is he Noctis? No. Am I still going to have fun playing him? Absolutely. I think he's going to be really cool. And uh, we just have to find out. We just got to get into some games and find out what to do and not get stuck doing the same combo over and over and over again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to do a lot of Tekken 8 stuff coming out. Please subscribe if you enjoy that. Please leave a like and leave a comment if I missed anything, if you have any questions, or if you want to see me do something in particular. If you absolutely have nothing to say, leave an emoji. That helps me a lot. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Bro. Try the combo one more time. Fuck you. <laughs>